guys thank you for tuning in yes we got the us mobile sim card kit the black sim is for the super lte which is the verizon network the white sim is for the t-mobile network guys so we got two options with us mobile and yes the option that we're using is we're going to be using the verizon super lte sim and yes we've already activated our our line of service as you can tell we have it yes our name for purposes of this uh this account is going to be bill clinton so yeah our former president bill clinton just got activated with uh us mobile all right guys so we're going to pop this sim in and literally guys there's a promo code uh free sim it literally in 24 hours i got the sim kit and it was only a dollar and like 45 cents so not a bad deal guys dollar and 45 cents basically for for next day shipping on this uh on this uh sim kit all right so let me and then uh the plan that i chose was the 55 dollar ludicrous plan which includes uh unlimited 5g lte and um the hot spot so we're gonna pop the sim in right now so you can see waiting for activation so we're gonna wait for activation guys we're gonna get this going and we'll be right back on this video and then we're gonna compare this is gonna be you uh us mobile versus total wireless that's gonna be the showdown today all right guys us mobile is activated now we are going to do a few tests here I'm gonna grab the total wireless line and go from there okay, so we got us mobile all right we got total wireless we got visible wireless all right we got cbrs so we're set let's start with us mobile 24 ping 2.5 jitter oh man what is this Seventy four point four. By twenty four point four on the upload. What the? All right, let's see. Maybe the CBRS is not working. Let's see. Cause we know there's sixty megahertz CBRS here on the site. Eighteen ping, eighty six jitter. Nope, sure is working. By 28 down. By 23.9 on the upload. All right, let's test out visible. Let's see what, what uh, visible wireless does. Sixty-five ping, three point eight jitter. Wow. What the heck's going on here? Seventy three point one. By twenty four point eight on the upload. I'm going to retest here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to airplane mode the US mobile phone real quick. So we airplane mode. Let me see here if I can. It won't let us hurry. So airplane mode. There we go. We got signal, US mobile. All right, let's check it out. Let's test it again. It's weird how it shows Verizon. 19 ping, 5.7 jitter. And no, we are not getting a connection to CBRS with this phone. Unfortunately, guys, this is... um. Much as I hate to say it's a dumpster fire. Thank God I'm just getting a free trial of 60 days with this. So 61.4 by 25.5. Total wireless. Well, let's smack it down again. Let's see. Twenty-four ping hundred jitter. 
jitter's high, but can't complain with those speeds right there. Four ninety nine down. Twenty three point three on the upload. Let's do visible wireless one more time. And then what we're gonna do afterwards is I'm gonna switch over to the other phones and do millimeter wave testing and see what the difference is in millimeter wave. 67 ping, what is that, uh, 33 jitter. And visible is getting, hold on, let's do, let's airplane mode visible. Let's see here real quick. And that seems awfully odd about visible. Okay, Yesterday, yesterday, Visible was getting uh, CBRS. Wasn't fast, but it was better than this. 72 ping, 4.3 jitter. Oh, there we go, it's kicking in. Oh, never mind. So 110 down. on the upload I'm gonna try it with another server guys real quick just because that server is known to be uh, horrible sixty-seven ping four point seven jitter so yeah no CBR no CBRS either it looks like it probably did aggregate a little bit but no CBRS so Total Wireless so far is the winner on CBRS. So let's, um, let me switch over to Millimeter Wave, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back here. Is millimeter Wave, know that I know it's active, but we got a problem, guys. 5G's on, no Millimeter Wave access, no DSS, which is dynamic spectra sharing, nothing. Just straight LTE only, which we saw, already saw, we had issues with the CBRS. No CBRS access on US mobile. Okay, so now we got uh, total wireless. Of course, we have millimeter wave access, as you can see right there. 7P, 2.2 jitter, and there you go, those impressive speeds as usual. And I have used on this line. I'm on the $47 plan, which is it's supposed to say 25 gigs of high speed that slow down to 2G. But you know what, guys? I have been using this. I've used at least 100 gigabytes and I have not even been slowed down. I checked my usage and my usage still shows I have used zero gigabytes or zero megabytes of data. So I don't know what it is because like my phones are always bought unlocked or not carrier specific. So maybe it could be that when you buy a carrier specific phone, it doesn't count the data, you know, towards your allowance. But so far it's not counting nothing. And look, this is another thing about US Mobile, guys. It says 5G available on all plans, meaning it could be ludicrous, it could be this, it could be that, doesn't matter. It's available on all plans. Then I was talking with the chat, which I'm gonna show you guys here. I'll probably end up putting uh, putting the stuff here on the screen, you know, like at the end of the video, but it says here it's available on or GSM LTE connection which means it's only available guys on the white sim card not on the super lte sim which is does not specifically say on their website it says here on your website i told them that if it says here super lte get it and then i am really sorry super lte is under process but gsm is active and then they were asking me about the address blah 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 they asked me what phone i had and then I can confirm with my team 5G is now up with Super LTE as well, but it is in testing phases. I'll just uh, GSM SIM with fast delivery for you. I have filed the fast shipment. I hopefully it solves your issues. And then I asked them, can I be set up as a tester? And you can't test it like this. It becomes available in your area. It will start working 
So, basically, guys, US Mobile, no 5G access, no CBRS access, which really pisses me off because honestly, CBRS should be included. You know, why Why is Visible Wireless getting, you know, CB, CBRS and, CB, and Visible is more of the bottom of the totem pole, you know? And why is Total Wireless getting CBRS access when Total Wireless is literally an NVNO of track phone? It's an NVNO of an NVNO. So I'll show you guys right here. Put on LTE. Here, I think this site should have CBRS by now. I'm not. I, I'm not too sure. I'm not gonna say yes. I'm not gonna say no. I don't know if they have it turned on yet, but yep, they do got CBRS turned on. There you go. Look at that, man. This is BS, man. I just don't get it, guys. Why they are offering this with one and not the other? But. Like I said, guys, honestly, if I were to recommend right now a uh, prepaid carrier and via Nova Verizon, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Total wireless is the way to go. Use it with a sim with a phone that came unlocked from the factory. You'll have no data usage on it. I've been blowing it up using a bunch of the data and you'll show right here. Nothing. I have not had not one single slowdown. And all this. Oh, that's Verizon. Okay, so that's too far down. So let's see here. There we go. So I've been using it from here on. All that right there is nothing but total wireless. So that's over the 25 gigs. And I'm still getting fast speeds on LTE on that. And this is another one, guys, too, that I want to show you. Fast, not bad, right? Not bad at all. Can't complain with four megs. What about US Mobile here? Point eight guys. Oh, I just redid the test. There you go. Total wireless. I redid the test again. Let's redo it again. And you're connected to CBRS. I guess it gives it to you. There you guys go. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you check out the links down below. And we're gonna conclude this. Total wireless, winner, US mobile, unless you're doing the GSM sim, not the Super LTE, maybe you'll have better luck. But other than that, I really cannot recommend it at this moment, at all. To me, it's a dumpster fire. This is GOAT. All right, have a good one, peace.